a lot of people that's right for you tend to present themselves in, mm-hmm. in, in the the weirdest of moments. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So Facts. how how has that worked for you? Like has has the right people presented themselves at the right time? Uh yeah. Uh pretty much. Um I started like I said, I started this thing my, by myself. You know what I'm saying? I was grinding by myself for a long time. Uh, uh and I, I finally started opening up and being open to letting people in because I was one of those people that like, man, I don't want to ever give nobody a chance to say, I did this for you, or you only own because of me, or you know what I'm saying? I never wanted to give anybody a chance to, to say that or do that, you know, do that to me. You feel right. me? So I was like, I'm doing, this, I'm doing this shit by myself. I don't need no help. But I later figured, I later, I later found out that it's super overwhelming trying to do everything yourself. Man. You got to build a team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can't be on stage performing and then worried about the mic and then worried about the the band and then worried about the stage and you know say it's just too much. It started getting overwhelming, and uh, so you know I, I let people uh, uh, they identify themselves. You feel me? Like like my my band, uh, I I built the band. You know what I'm saying? Like I, he was cold. He knew somebody that was cold. He knew somebody that was cold. We put it together. It was amazing. You feel me? And uh. As far as my team is like, I got the merch. Of course, my my best friend worked my merch. Uh, another one of my friends worked my merch. You know, say just in case my best friend can't do it. Uh, I got my mom. My my family supports me. You know, what I'm saying they they do a lot of stuff for me. You know, what I'm saying it's, it's, I got a, I don't have a manager currently. I had a manager. You know, what I'm saying uh, I, st- I still felt like I was doing everything then. You know, what I'm saying so I'm like, you know what, I might as well just not have a manager if I'm still doing everything with a manager. You know? So it was like it just didn't make sense. You know, what I'm saying. Financially or time wise, you feel me? So, I'm still kind of doing. I'm still kind of, you know, what I'm saying doing it myself. Uh, I actually uh, just recently got a deal with Sony. You know, what I'm saying the Orchard. I uh, got a major deal with them. Uh, marketing deal, uh, uh, distribution deal. Um, and I just, of course, they just put put together the tour for me. You know, what I'm saying so. It's just I've been getting help. You know, what I'm saying it's been presenting. It's been they they've been identifying themselves pretty much. You know, what I'm saying. I haven't really look, went looking for, you're going to be this person for me. You're going to be this person for me. It's just all, you know, happen. Now, as, as far as your, your deal go, I'm pretty sure you only signed that deal because it was beneficial to of you. Course. Like, I'm, like you, you, I told you, I'm a, I, I went to school. I'm, I'm a super marketer. I, I know how the game go. I, I study. That's another thing uh, thing that the, the artists need to do, study. You know what I'm saying? Uh, know the business side of things. You feel me? A lot of people go in half cocked, don't know what's going on. Right. It's just so thirsty to get a deal. They be they be ready to just do anything. Of course, I got an attorney. I got I got a team. I got a team. You know what I'm saying? So I, we overlooked everything, made sure it was the correct situation for me. You know what I'm saying? It was financially uh, uh, pleasant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> for me? You feel me? And uh, it was gonna elevate me as an artist. You know what I'm saying overall. You feel me? And that's that's pretty much it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's definitely a beneficial beneficial uh, deal. You know what I'm saying to be involved in. So. Now we got the uh the big cardboard cutout underrated out there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So let's talk about that project. Like, why name it underrated? Uh I just felt underrated, man. I still feel underrated, you feel me? Uh I feel like in Chicago, it should be uh I should be known way more than what I'm known, you know what I'm saying, on a, on another level because of of the work I put in, you feel me? And I just feel like I've been I've been flying under the radar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all this time, you feel me? So that's just that's where the name came from. I just feel like I've been flying under the radar. I saw these all these crazy lists that, you, that they put out there, the top fifty, top yeah. hundred artists in Chicago, and I never saw my name. You feel me? I wasn't even in the honorable mentions, and so I, I just felt some type of way. You feel me? I'm like, you know what? I got some for y'all lads. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna put it in my raps. You feel me? So that's what I did, bro. You could you could you could you could feel that I felt that I feel like I'm underrated uh, just by listening to this album. You know what I'm saying? It's, I feel like my best album out. You feel me? Uh, look, see, keep, see, see how I did that artist. I'm talking about the album. I'm, 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 I'm building it up. You know what I'm saying? Because it is the best album I got. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's about the build up. You got to get people to want to listen to it. And nice. so, the, and, and that's what I, that's how I felt felt during that album. Like that's probably why I'm, I feel like I'm underrated. People need. I need to get more. I need to get more people to listen to it because I know once they hear it, it's over with. It's, once I once you hear it, I got you. That's how I feel. 